Okay, so uh, Dr. Creighton here. Uh, this is our patient's leg. Uh, she has a wound here that will not heal. So we're going to debreed the wound and put on a special device called a wound vac. So the first thing we'll do is the debridement, and I'm going to use my, it's called a curette, and we're just going to gently scrape on the wound, just ever so gently, and that's going to just remove some of the bacterial debris and some of the fibrinous material that's there. And I might get a little bit of, just tiny little bit of bleeding, and this is just going to help clean the wound and prepare it for our wound vac, which is a sponge connected to a negative pressure device. So that looks good there. You can just see that little bit of bleeding. Uh, it's all nice and healthy. And the wound vac is going to help accelerate this wound to heal and eventually we'll put on the skin graft. Uh, so the next thing is we're going to use our sticky drape. So let's get that. Uh, I'm going to take my scissors and just cut a patch out here. This is going to go onto the skin, and then we're going to put the sponge on directly onto the wound. Uh, let's open that one as well, please. So this is our first step in placement of the wound back is our sticky drape. So I'm just going to undo that and put this directly on the skin, just like this. So now we're going to have this seal on the skin. We want to protect the normal skin and put the sponge just right onto the wound itself. So that's our first step now. I'm just going to take some scissors here and I'm just going to cut a little tiny hole in the sticky drape just where the wound is so that we have a window into the wound and thereby just protecting the normal skin. There's definitely some arts and crafts skills involved with this procedure. Okay, great. So there's our window into the wound. Now we're going to take our sponge. This is the key to the procedure. I'm going to place the sponge right here. And if you'll just put your finger there for a moment, and we'll get the sticky drape back here. And next is that we're going to take our sticky drape and apply it over the sponge. More arts and crafts here. Okay. All right, so. Thank you. I'm going to apply this right onto our sponge. And the goal is to get a seal all the way around. It's kind of like a Christmas package here now, shrink wrapped. Right away. OK, so we remove the outer seal. Now I have the sponge directly on the wound. And now we're going to place the track pad onto the sponge and connect that to the back machine. So what I do here, this next step is I cut a little hole on top of the sponge. And I'm going to take my track pad here. And this tubing will connect the sponge to our negative pressure device. and. So I apply this here. So this is all set to go. And let's look at our device here. So let's connect the tubing to the canister. Here's our, here's our wound vac. Uh, there's uh, settings here that allow me to generate negative pressure. And there's this canister that will collect fluid. So this is hooked up here. Uh, our settings are going to be 125 millimeters of mercury, and it's basically like a little mini vacuum cleaner. So we're going to look at the sponge as we turn that on. And hang on one second here. I just have to remove this last piece of seal here. OK, so all right, so let's go ahead and turn this on. 
and you'll see the sponge <laughs> squeeze down. And now we have our negative pressure. So what the sponge will do, uh, it will create a healthy environment uh, by suctioning the wound. It will cause it to contract down. And then the little holes in the sponge are going to stimulate granulation tissue and healing. Uh, this is changed usually Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, and this device has really been just a miracle to help wounds to heal in a much uh, more quick way uh, and uh, has saved a lot of time in terms of length of wound healing. So uh, our patient's going to go home now. We'll see her probably next week and hopefully get a skin graft on that wound and get her to healing. Uh, so that's the KCI wound vac, and uh, I just want to thank our patient for allowing us to film this video. Thank you. All right, we got it.